Reviews. Let's talk about Trinity number one. Ooh. Mm. I've been mm, a bit... Is trepidatious a word, Alex? Can I get a ruling? I don't think trepidatious is a word. What is the word I'm looking for? Feeling Not... some trepidation mm. is what you're after. Nervous? Anxious? Uh, yes. All of these things. I always get a bit wary when an artist starts writing their own books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Francis Manipal, I don't know if he's written um, kind of his own things before, but the boy's got some skills. I'll say that for him. No? Oh, go on then, Alex. Let's hear from uh, you. You seem to have an opinion. I didn't love this. No? <laughs> oh, no. Interesting. Um, I've been catching up with uh, the Lois and Clark from before Rebirth mm-hmm. and I've been reading pretty much everything that DC have chucked out recently and this is just a bit uh, oh. it's a lot of lot of cover for me personally it's a lot of covering old ground which says a lot for someone who hasn't really read DC until the last six months mm. um, and it's just it was okay yeah and there was I mean there was one um one part of it where it was covering the bit with Wonder Woman and it was it was really strange seeing the same action drawn in a different way. It was only like a page. Yeah, it was just... Uh, yeah, the art, the, to be honest, it wasn't even the art that turned me off. It was the story. It was just a bit... Oh, okay. Well, this is this is how, you, how you're leading in with it, is it? There's a little, yeah. I think there's definitely potential there because... Well, the, there's got to be. It's the three headline characters. But <coughs> just didn't grab me. Interesting. Scott, give me a counterpoint. Um, it, I, I liked it better than okay. Um, no, but like like Alex, I, I didn't love this. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't I'm going to be the positive one. I know, right? That's like, what? Like we, we've, we've been on a little break and then we come back and Stuart's positive? <laughs> the what? world's gone topsy-turvy. So Shit, this is comics. This is the uh, Out of Heroes Rebirth Crisis of an Infinite Rebirth. Uh, no, I don't know. Um, I might have been expecting more, I think. Maybe that might have been it. Um, obviously, I'm not as into the artists or writers as you guys are. I know a few of them trying to learn more names. Um, but I, I, I thought it was fun-ish for the first, like, but as a first issue... Of the Trinity, it should have been balls to the walls, awesome. Do you think? And it was just okayly good. Have you either of you read? Um, there's a book by the same name that was written by Matt Wagner, and it's only like a mini series, five or six issues, uh, and that that Trinity is very much like this. It's mm. very. Uh, it, it leans on the narration, it, so you get into the characters' heads, but it, it splits the narration between the big three characters, and they all have this distinct voice, and it does a really good job of showing this is why they're different, but this is why they're friends. Mm. Um, and it's mm. pr- a pretty low-key story. It's set like in the very early days, like after the year one type era, um, and it's really, really good. And this reminded me so much of that. Um, because of the way it, it it lent on a narration for kind of to to drive the not even the story just to show who these characters are in a, in a more meaningful way get into their heads a little bit and it was obviously Lois who was providing that point of view which I thought was quite an interesting point of view because she's a character this version of a character anyway that we haven't really had in this universe recently um, and seeing this story through her eyes is probably a really good perspective. Um, but I quite like... I'm I'm always happy if, if, if fuck all happens in a story, but people just talk and uh, just you just sort of start to see the differences in these characters. And this had a bit of groundwork to do, like you say, they did a bit of a recap of where are we with these people in case... You know, the DC have got to do that thing where... You might not be reading Batman, you might not be reading Wonder Woman, you might not be reading Superman. And they've got to catch you up so that you know, going forward, what the lay of the land is. And they had, it was, that obviously had to be tackled. 
and it, it could have been the most, it wasn't the most elegant way yeah. it was very it, it had it followed a, ve- a kind of a structure of let's reveal the character uh, and they did those great like double page sp- spreads mm. uh, no, for true. each character with that framed logo shot in the background of their you know in their reveal they were awesome, all three of those. Really good. Oh, yeah, no, they're they really were good. good. I'll agree with you there. Still doesn't think... beat the uh, Flash Rebirth, Wally and Barry, <laughs> but I think that's going to be hard to beat. And then, and then kind of um, did a bit of a recap for each one, which wasn't that elegant, but I think because we knew, I knew what was happening in Wonder Woman, and it was a bit like, mm. yeah, 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 I know this. Blast through that page. Let's get on with it a bit. But... What I really liked was just the more personal stuff. The the way it's hard. Not every writer can do narration. You can't overuse it. You can't. Uh, it 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 can't be like that important. But it has to enhance. Like you have. It it has to have a purpose. Um, it, I, I thought it was really well used. I I just liked and I liked the pacing of it. It was steady. I don't really know what the last page reveal meant. Um, but I think in a broader context, this story could be one of those more personal, kind of back to basics, character exploration stories that I'm really I always like. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, some some parts of it. I know what you're saying about the personal as well. Things like bringing a wild boar and stuff <laughs> like that was it was a nice touch to humanize the superhuman. Mm. But it just. I think, like you say, it wasn't elegant. I've read just read this week's Nightwing as well, which has recapped everything that's happened in uh, Detective Comics, Batgirl, and Batman, and it's done it so much better. Yeah. With it doesn't tell you what's happened. Well, it tells you the main headline of what's happened, and then it, it says, if you want to know more about this, go over there and do this. You don't need to do that. So what could have happened here is a reference to what we've already seen. And it could have been a case of they didn't this. have anything better to do with it. There was just like, you know what, let's just get it out of the way. Yeah. It, like... I think it's just a lack of established it... mm. story, I suppose, for the characters to, to show here. Something that they could have shown in alternative, but decided to show you what we'd already seen. Which well, the Batman is fine. One, it was... The Batman one was interesting, though, because whilst it was quite jarring to see Batman in a rainbow suit, um it it was a joke and it was it wasn't really they weren't giving you a piece of backstory that was important Um, it was about the man it was more about this is this is the bruce i know which is a different bruce to who we've really got because he doesn't Mm. he does not remember that happening that was something that happened pre new 52 pre rebirth type stuff Mm -hmm. so it was a bit of a this is what i think batman is um and highlight the fact that they're different, but also have a little joke at his expense, which always is funny with Batman. Uh, but it was kind of jarring <laughs> to see it. Like, <laughs> this is a really goofy imagery in a it modern comic book. It's strange. Um, um, one panel did catch me out. Did you notice the skirt? Either of you noticed the skirt? No. Okay, no. so I'm just, I've just got it up on my, on my screen there. So the... <coughs> Comicsology version, it has got it on page 8. Wonder Woman's wearing a long, flowing skirt. There's an awful lot of definition in certain parts of the anatomy for a long skirt, which should be really baggy. There we go. <laughs> Reach out. <laughs> Interesting. When they're, when they're standing at the door, it really jumped out as being out of place. Page 8, you say? Page 8, so you've got John running to the door, saying, I've got it. Damn it, Lord. <laughs> it's, it's, it's oh, I, I see, yeah. It's a little bit weird on a flowing skirt to have that much definition. Do you not think that's a really odd bit of drawing? Uh... Yeah, it, it it's obviously gone a bit too far, silhouetting the buttocks. It jumps out as something that I might have seen maybe 30 years ago. Maybe even 20, but not now. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't normally criticise uh, Manipal for like for, for overly sexualising people. Um, 
And I think that's probably the only example of it you'll find in this book. Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. Um, it's, it's just. I mean, it could I have been a very. It then. could have been a very high skirt, but I don't know. I I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to say. Like, <laughs> I, see, I see where you're coming from. It just really caught me off guard that it just jumped out as being really strange. Caught, maybe it's just an ass man, like. It, apparently so. So, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I finally got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's it's butts. Yeah, nothing wrong with butts. I mean, that's true. yeah, and then I'm, I don't read in guided view. <laughs> Can you imagine jumping from one panel to the next in guided? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly that jumps out at you. <laughs> it is definitely noticeable. But, I mean, obviously, me and Stuart missed it, so maybe it's not definitely noticeable. It's, Alec, it's really more of a... Um, it's just Alex is really an analysing the panels. Place, yeah. <laughs> an interesting glimpse into Alex's psyche. <laughs> more than anything else. Place to go. A very dangerous place. 